welcome to math class. Today we're going to be learning about elimination. Here are our group members. Dylan, the cameraman. Jake, the friend. Dallas, the other friend. The, the kid. Dallas, the goat. The goat. Yep, yeah. And me. So, here's our equation, and I'll be giving it to Jake to be talking about it. Mm -hmm. Alright, so the three types of equations that she should know about are substitution, graphing, and I think the easiest, elimination. So um, some of the uh, terms that we're going to be using today are variable. You see you have the x variable and the y variable. So that so that would be negative 4x, negative 2y, negative 10x, and positive 7y. Um, you're going to have to use distribution. So you're so basically you know you're going to try to um, you're going to try to make either the x variable or the y variable cancel. So we'll get to that. Um, mm -hmm. Additive inverse when you have to move it over to the other part of the equal sign and um, inverse operation, so that's like when you're moving it, so if you have positive, then you subtract, if it's negative, then you'd add instead. Um, you'd have to multiply, you know, when you're distributing. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna, um, and then coordinate plate point for your last, um, coordinate point for the, uh, for the answer, you know, you get your x and y variables once they're all simplified. So I'm gonna pass it off to Dylan, and he's going to uh, solve these questions using right. the, um, Terms. Okay, so, um, so Joss and I are gonna do this real quick. Um, so, what we have here? So, here we go. With our marker. <laughs> Make sure, please. You, you guys, let me take that from you. Okay. Um. Anyways, so this is our problem for today. It's negative four x minus two y equals fourteen, and negative ten x plus seven y equals negative twenty five. So. The first thing we're going to want to do is make these equivalent so we can cross one of, one of them out. So we need to put parentheses around them. And then we're going to, um, for this one, keep the pointer right there. Um, so for this one, we're going to do variable 7. Then we're going to do 2. So what this gets us, so 7 times negative 4 is, this is kind of hard to write, um, 28x. Um, minus 14y equals um, 98 and negative 10x times 2 negative 20x 2 times 7 so it's plus 14y and then negative 25 times 2 is obviously negative 50 so here we go, and as you can see, um, in order to cross this out, they have to be, um, they have to be uh, opposites. Yeah. So we have to. Have, so this one's positive, and this one's negative. So with this, we can now cross this out, and then this brings us to this. So we just make a big addition problem, and so 28x plus negative or negative 28x plus negative 20x is negative 48 x and since we have we don't have our y variable anymore this is not we don't use that anymore <laughs> and um so this next one it's 98 plus negative 50 so it's like 98 minus 50 so like right here and so that would also come out to be a positive 48 this time so now we're going to go ahead and divide by negative 48 to get x by itself. So once again, we're gonna divide this by negative 48. And so this comes down to uh, negative one. X equals negative one. So that's our x? Well, yes, so that's our x. Let's give it to Dallas to find the y. So, so to get your y, you wanna plug in the variable of x for x in one of the variables. Usually we like to do it in one of the easier equations, so. This one will take the easier one because it has smaller numbers, so we'll do that one. So what we do to figure this out is we just want to go ahead. We're not going to do it up here. We're going to go ahead and do it down here. You're just going to go ahead and rewrite this equation. So negative 4x minus 2y. Oh, okay. Negative 4x. Yeah, you got that. Yeah, you had it. Yeah. Negative 4x. No, it's negative 4. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. right, right. Um, minus 2y equals 14. Equals 14. So now what we can do is what he's shown here. So a negative times a negative is a positive. So that's four minus two y equals 14. So. Maybe um, y by itself. So uh, I'm gonna subtract, okay. So I, I'm gonna do this part. Some more quick. Yeah. All right, so basically now what we do is we try to get to 
isolate the y variable. So we subtract 4, since this is positive, from both sides of the equation. And now we get uh, negative 2y two y equals, equals 10. 10. And so now we have to divide both sides by negative 2 to completely isolate the y variable. And a negative or a positive divided by negative is a equals um, to negative. Yeah, so. y equals negative five. So now um, we have we have our x, x and, our and y. we also have our y. So let's put that so in for our coordinates. So this is where our coordinate uh, points come into play. So, so x negative is always one. first, and then so it's negative one and negative five, and that is our final answer. And that is so, how you yeah, solve this has been us uh, doing this elimination problem. Hope this is helpful to you guys. And Okay, so we have to divide 48x by 40. Oh my god, did we've done. <laughs> oh, what, what are you doing? You had it. Oh, oh my god. I'm sick of this, bro. We did this so many times. One, go. Alright, welcome to Math. Hey, Alright. Where's the Math? No, this is not. Oh my god.